So, um, how did you feel when, um, like, I, I know, you know, you don't, we weren't, we didn't want to talk about too much of the beef. We don't want to talk about too much of the drama. But how did you feel when, when you heard King say those things about about L.A.? I didn't even. And, I, and all the rappers stick up for L.A. Like, you saw all these rappers just stick I up for L.A. I never even seen whatever the comment or whatever he said. But I just started seeing people coming in my Instagram, on my DM, like, how you feel about somebody dissing L.A.? Like, yeah. that don't that don't bother me. Like, you know, I just... It really doesn't. It, it, it really doesn't bother you. It don't bother me. Like, mm-hmm. it don't hurt yeah. me. It's, it ain't nothing but worse. He not doing nothing but trying to get attention. Anybody that say anything that's L.A., it's going to get attention. Yeah. So yeah. even if it's good or yeah. if it's bad, they just want the attention. That's why you get the attention. That's, that's why you get offers for interviews because yeah, they it's know just, it's just right. It's that's just what it is. So I mean, but that that has to give you somewhat of a good feeling too that that your son that had such loved, an impact they, so quickly. Yes, that that they loved him. But on another note, it's just like. Y'all want to get into it with somebody over something that they said? People rap about stuff yeah. and say diss people all the time. Like, yeah. it's not that serious. That's yeah. what's wrong with the rap community now. Like, you know? I just don't understand why you have to say it. Like, why you have to use someone who passed away and someone who Me. you obviously know their family, their friends are going through pain. And well, you want to do that. Why, why, why do you have to say their name at all? Why? Like what? What does it do? What? What is it? I don't. I, don't, I just never understood it. Um, so you know, we were talking about this off camera. You said you never had an Instagram until after. After. So you didn't see the pictures with the lean and the guns and the weed and None the, all that. No. You never saw any of that. None wow. of it. I told you I didn't even know Lenar had a, a tattoo on his stomach. Yeah. I yeah. Didn't you even, were saying I that. didn't even know that. I didn't even know it when he passed away because. I didn't. He was wrapped up, so I I didn't see it. I didn't okay. see it until after I seen a video. Yeah. And he had passed away already, and I, yeah. his shirt was off in the video, and I was like, yeah. "Fuck, he get that big ass, you know? Where you get that tattoo from?" Would you Would you have been upset if you knew before? I mean, it's his body, you know. Yeah. I just would have been like, "Why did you do that?" Yeah. You know, but I got I mine. My mom didn't talk to me for like two days. I swear the, to God. I mean, the first tattoo <laughs> he ever got, he was thirteen. He went to a tattoo party with my sister. My sister, 12 years younger than me. My sister took Lenard. She took my daughter, Lanika. Mm-hmm. And she took my niece. Yeah. Lenard didn't ask me, could he get a tattoo? He just got it. My niece got one. My daughter called mm-hmm. and said, Mom, I'm at a tattoo party. Could I get a tattoo? I told her no. But yeah. Lenard didn't ask, and he had already got yeah. it. So it was nothing that I could do about it. You know, yeah. once it's on there, it's permanent. You yeah. can't. You can't. You can't erase it. Yeah. So, I don't, I wouldn't have, you know, liked, liked it, but it wouldn't have been nothing that I could do about it. It's yeah. his body. Yeah. But um, when we were in the car, you were talking about you, when you when you created your Instagram, uh, Dirk had, had talked to you about that. Could you tell us about what he told you and, and, what, and what y'all talked about before you started your Instagram? Yeah, he told me that it's going to be, he asked me, was I ready? to have it and I told him yeah and um, he said well you know you gotta have tough skin to have Instagram he said you gonna have a lot of people that's on there saying a lot of negative stuff it's gonna be you gonna have good but you gonna have a lot of bad and if you not tough you ain't got no tough skin then I, I suggest you not do it Yeah. but I had got my first set of shirts and I was ready to put them up and Mama Capone was born. <laughs> Did they sell like hotcakes? Yeah, those shirts? Oh, I, yeah, they sold out really, really fast. The first order, I had a hundred of them. Okay. The L.A. Gang, the original oh, L.A. Gang right. shirts. Yeah, yeah we're, they went. We're gonna get they, some. They soon. went crazy. Yeah. So, um, you you uh, you said you said uh, you said in the you said in the car you said, I I remember you said um you said that. You had kept hearing stories from Tay, and finally you said, "Tay, I don't want to know anymore because I don't want I don't want to tarnish." Yes. I don't want to. Can yeah, you tell, he, can you he talk was about that? he was telling me some bad stuff, like things that Lenar used to do or whatever, and um, I had to stop him because I just didn't want to. I didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to hear it. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to hear about whatever bad he done. I I can't look and think about him as being nothing, yeah. but. 
my baby boy, you know. Because we do act different with our parents, parents than the way we of, do with our of, friends. We of, do. Of course. When you said that in the Zach TV interview, uh, I forgot what he asked you, but you said, yeah, he asked you, did you know about his street life? And you said, obviously, they're going to act different. And I thought that was so true because it, it really is. You know, I, you really do act different than you do with of, your parents. You really course. don't, you know. Of course. You're not going to come at, come home and, and do the so it wasn't like at home he was at home smoking and oh, cursing hey, no, and, no, 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 and all that no, kind of stuff. No, he could not smoke weed in my house. I've never even seen Lenar high. If I did, I didn't know he was high. Yeah. I, I never seen that. That's sad of him. Yeah, and he wasn't like cursing in the house, None disrespectful. Of that. None of that. Just a real nice, respectful kid. Yes, that I took he to school like every it. morning. And JB Grandma picked him up every afternoon or me on the school bus. Yeah. He used to be so embarrassed when I come pick him up on the school bus. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, did, so I saw an interview with um, Zach TV with, with this guy named Stunt Taylor. Did you see this? Where he said L.A. Capone had pulled the gun out on him or something like oh, that. Oh no, did no, but that? no, but um, oh, I think I heard about it. Zach told me about that one time we was in the gym. The dude that he said yeah. him and Rondo pulled a gun yeah, and, or something. And that's the kind of stories you talk about right, that right, you just don't want to hear. Right, exactly. That's a prime example right okay. there. Yeah. All right. 